I'm gonna show you how to make laser cut wood earrings filled with resin. Let's walk through all the steps so you can make your own. So I'm using a piece of basswood. This is two millimeter basswood. Always save your scraps. I've worked with this piece before, but we can use the rest of it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a little wood stain. And we're actually gonna stain both sides. I'm gonna add a couple coats here and let this dry before moving on to the next step. I'm going to be using the X-Tool M1 to cut these earrings out. Now it is up on risers today, which you can actually leave it up on risers as long as the base is still attached on the inside of the machine. Inside the base is firmly attached and I am using triangular prisms inside to raise my wood up. This is gonna help with the cutting. Then I can take my piece of wood and just place it in here. There is a little red dot that shines down. I kind of want that in the middle of my material that's gonna help line everything up really well. Now when I close this, the camera will turn on and we can go over to Xtool Creative Space to create our design. The first thing I need to do is physically connect the M1 to my computer with the USB cord. And now the camera will show my wood that is in the machine and this is going to make it really easy to apply the designs. I am using an SVG that is linked down in the description so you can take a look at that. This is a whole bundle of earrings that I got. Really, really inexpensive, just a few dollars for all of these. Now, they're already sized appropriately to the size that I want them, but I need to make some cutting settings. So I'm gonna click off the design and onto the wood, and I'm gonna go over here on the right. This is the laser we want, and I am using the settings for three millimeter basswood. Then I'm gonna hit that it is height raised, and then I'm gonna click this button over here to auto measure. Now I can move these exactly where I want them. And over on this next screen on the right with these two SVGs selected, I'm going to hit cut. And I have found that the reference power and speed that comes up cuts really well. The next step I wanna do here is frame this. So I'm just gonna go over and hit the frame button on the machine. This is going to outline the design and show me exactly where the cut's going to happen. And with the framing complete, I can hit start. And there is our earring piece. I love that it's already stained on both sides. So now we can go add the resin. This is a UV resin kit. If you are just getting started with resin or any craft technique for that matter, a kit is always a great way to start because it comes with everything you need. The first thing in this is a silicone mat that we're gonna put everything on. Then it comes with two bottles of UV resin. The reason I like UV resin is because it is already pre-mixed and it sets really quickly. So there's an extra bottle in here too. Then it comes with some containers, some silicone containers, and then a few mixing tools. The most important part in here is this little UV light. This just plugs in with a USB cord 
It sets up and it's gonna help go right over the earrings and it's gonna cure the resin. I'm going to start by adding a small amount of the UV resin to this little silicone container. There are all types of dyes and colorings that you can add to resin. Today I'm using a super fine gold glitter. Now I've got my earrings here, and when I put them on the silicone mat, the resin is not going to stick to it. And then I can just fill up the spaces, being careful not to get any of the resin on the outside of the wood. I just want it on the inside. With everything filled, it's time to cure the resin. So we place the light over the top, push this button, and it's on an automatic timer. So we're just gonna let it go. Depending on how thick your resin is, you may need to flip these over and also cure it on the back side. If it is too thick or you've added too much glitter or too much coloring, it won't cure all the way through. So try to keep a very thin layer when doing this. We've got these great looking earrings, just a hint of glitter in that resin on the inside. Now we just have to add the jewelry findings to the top and turn them into earrings. So now you know how to make laser cut wood earrings filled with resin. I hope you learned something today and you are ready to go make your own. There is a full list of all the materials I used down in the description. And if you have any questions, drop me a comment. I would love to chat with you. If you like simple craft tutorials like this, consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.